Hi guys, so I am going to talk you through my skincare. I've had this mask on for about 15 minutes, so I just thought I'd keep it on so that I could show you it. Um, it actually has little eye flaps, so when you're laying down, relaxing, you can actually cover the eyelid as well, which is something I really like about this mask. But I'm going to remove it, it comes in two parts, um, so it makes it quite easy to apply and really comfortable and it's super hydrating like you can still see it's still got a lot of hydration in there so i am gonna let this settle in to my face whilst i talk you through some of the skincare that i've been using for around two months now um that feels amazing by the way the mask that i had on is this one it is by the skin geek and it's the hydra gel mask and you keep it on for 15 minutes. Um, it's infused with anti-inflammatories, antioxidants to leave the skin feeling hydrated, refreshed, smoothed and rejuvenated. And it surely does, it feels really nice. So, it's got like quite a cooling effect to it. I'm not sure if that's glad the window open. I actually took the liberty of laying down for 15 minutes um, and I was listening to my Audible book. Uh, I've got back into them since we've been in lockdown. I do love listening to a book. The only thing what is a little bit annoying about it sometimes is I don't always like the people that do the speaking, they're, the way they speak, sometimes they're a bit robotic but um, I'll tell you what book I'm listening to just in case you're curious, I always go for fiction. Um, the one I'm listening to is called Miss You by Kate Eder, I don't even know how to say that, I'm just going to show you so that you can see it. And I will link this down below in case you want to. But yeah, it's just a kind of fiction-y story. Um, anyway, so starting with my skincare, I normally start with a facial wash, which I'm gonna quickly go and grab one sec. So I start every morning with this product here, and this is the Exfoliating Cleanser Normal to Oily Skin, and it's by Zoe Skin Health. Um, by as I, I don't I'm not even going to try and pronounce that but as I said I'll link all these products below um, this I use morning and night um, it's like a little kind of like gel exfoliant I'm just going to put a tiny little bit on my back of my hand so you can see it um, and it's got like little particles in it for exfoliating so I put a small just a, the amount it's just a little bit more than that like a really small pea sized amount rub it all over my face, foam it up, and then I remove it with a flannel. Um, I like to use the flannel quite hot, and then I'll kind of like lay it over my face to like open my pores. But I've been really loving that. I've been using that for about six weeks. You get 200 mils of that in there, and I've still got quite a lot of product left in there because you use such a small amount. Um, and this has been working really well for me. The only thing I would say is if you are gonna use this skincare collection is that it does dry out your skin and at first I found it quite weird because I'm used to really moisturizing um, skincare but the pharmacist who prescribed these to me told me that it was going to be dry and she said to just stick with it and that eventually my skin will start to hydrate itself which it has done I've really noticed that recently and um, the reason why I started using these products is because I've never ever suffered with bad skin ever like I've just not I've always had like pores and I'd have like the odd spot around my period but I've never actually suffered with spots and about two months ago I started getting some spots around my chin and then they moved up on my face and obviously I panicked because I've got to 38 without having any problems with my skin and obviously I got in touch with the skin geek who actually come to my salon in the past when I had it so I knew that she knew what she was talking about she works alongside a pharmacist and then they actually prescribed this whole set up for me and um, I was keen to try it out um, if you're impatient you're not going to love it because you have to be patient with this it does take around six weeks to see the results but as you can see the results are pretty good like I am impressed so anyway moving on I start with this in the morning and then once my face is all dry I move on to my moisturizer this is the daily power defense protection and um, obviously it's by the same 
brand, you just apply a small pump of this, so that amount, and this is your moisturiser, this is it. So when I first started using this, I was quite shocked because I used to bet wear like Charlotte Tilbury, um, among other really moisturising rich creams on my face. I've always used oils on my face. So to use this, which is so, it's moisturising when you first put it on, but it's just not rich, like a rich luxury product. So I was thinking, oh God, like my face felt really dry, my skin felt really tight, but I've got used to it now and it does, it does do the job, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this product. <clears throat> it's clinically proven and it is anti-aging. Um, powerful antioxidant serum designed to improve the appearance of lines, wrinkles and to address future damage, which is what we all want. So yeah, that's a little bit about that and that is the only moisturiser that I put on my face, like literally. And I also apply this morning and night, so after I've done my face wash this goes straight on before bed also so that's that then once whoops then once a day I'll add this um, obviously I don't need this at night because it is a sunscreen and this is the smart tone broad spectrum sunscreen SPF 50 that's what it looks like and this is it says direction, so I'm just going to read it out to you. 15 minutes prior to sun exposure, apply a dime-sized amount to clean, dry skin. Blend all over the face and neck. A hint of colour will slowly develop as the product is applied. Reapply at least every two hours and for children. What was that? Oh, sorry, about children. Anyway, I only apply this once a day at the moment because obviously we're in the UK and we're not allowed out. So I take a fair amount like that. The thing I like about this is when we was allowed out, I was wearing this to go to run around doing my errands and to the gym. Obviously it is a sunscreen, but it's kind of got like a makeup effect to it, almost like a bit of a primer. So I really like it. It feels really thick and really moisturizing. And I just literally apply it everywhere. Down the neck. And you'll see it kind of gives you like a slight color and a slight blurring effect so not only is it got the SPF of 50 in it it actually does kind of work really well under makeup and on its own so I was super impressed with this product it really does smooth the skin it just feels really silky and lovely so that's it applied there. I just think it just gives a really nice glow and obviously it's a 50 um, SPF so it's protecting the skin which is what I love about that product. So that's that one. Um, and now more recently I've just got this eye cream because I noticed that where the skincare was quite dry in, it was actually making my eyes quite dry. So now I've got this, this is the Intense Eye Cream, same brand just apply to dry skin as usual. Targeted retinal eye treatment to reduce wrinkles, fine lines while improving the overall complexion and skin texture. Um, optical diffusers reduce dark circles and puffiness. Now this one's new. The other products I've been using, as I said, for around two months. This one I've only used once. I used it for the first time last night. Um, and you just need the smallest amount. This is quite a big tub. You get, how much is this? 15 mils. But for an eye cream, it's quite big. Um, so I just take the smallest, like, tiny little amount like that. And with my eye cream, I just like to pat it and take it right out because obviously this is where we get like a lot of crease in here as we get older or if you don't look after your skin um, when you're younger. But yeah, so I like to take it right out to the temples and then right in here, like in that little inner corner, just pat that on. Okay, so I'm gonna carry on using this eye cream, but 
seeing as the other products have worked so well, touch wood, I'm guessing that this one is going to do the same. And I'm really excited to have an eye cream to match my skincare. I'll show you what I was using before, before I got this. I actually had this here, which is, La, I'm really bad at pronouncing these names, La Roche Posay. And this is a um, eye cream for sensitive eyes. Um, I didn't have any problems with this. I've got sensitive eyes. If I react to something, my eyes literally swell up. And then for about a week to two weeks after, I have like really dry eyelids, like to the point where it looks like I've got like eczema or something. Um, I actually got this from Boots and it's just a hydrating moisturizer. Apply to the eye contour area morning and evening. Um, so let me see if it will focus on that. It's not focusing on that, I don't know why. Um, but anyway, this is good if you want something really, really light for sensitifiers. I really recommend that from Boots. I'll put the um, name of this in the description because obviously I'm rubbish at pronouncing things. Um, another product that I use every day is this. This is the, oh god, all the names are so complicated. The Blee, Blair Path Gel, sterile and preservative free gel, daily hygiene for eyelids and eyelashes. Um, that's what it looks like. I bought this when my eyes were playing up and now I'm scared to not use it. It's like a clear gel like that. And I use this every morning and every night to try and prevent my eyelids drying out and swelling up again because when that happens obviously it's really annoying because I can't do any content and also you just don't want it do ya don't want swollen eyelids so I put that along the eyelash line and all over the lid to hydrate my lids and to keep any like reactions at bay it's worked for me I'm not saying it's going to work for everyone I'm not even sure if that's what the product's meant to be for I just went to Boots and I was like looking through all the products that they done for eyes that keep reacting to things and i got that again that was pre-lockdown and it worked really well for me okay so that's my daily routine now i wanted to show you some products that i use if i do get some spots i haven't been getting them again touch wood i'm petrified of getting them back but i still do get the odd one and if one does pop up this is what i use so it's this product here it's called acne control and it's got 10% benzyl peroxide in it. I'm sorry if I'm, not peroxide, preoxide. Sorry if I'm butchering all the ingredients and the names of these. Again, they're gonna put them below. But anyway, this is what I use and this is what was recommended to me. It is such a big bottle, like this would literally last for me forever because I use the smallest amount. I literally take a little bit of this, squeeze it on the back of my hand and then I'll just tap it on wherever the blemish is and literally within a day or two it literally obliterates them and they go um so yeah this product is quite dry and you can use it on large areas of the face but it does dry your skin out um, when i first started using it and i had like all the problems on my chin i literally put it all over my chin and it went so dry and like flaky but it actually does work so like this is my favorite product for spots this is it um, I actually have another one that I've used a couple of times. Where is it? It's this one. And this is the Sulfur Mask. This is also really good for spots. You can use this on your entire face. Um, and you can also leave, um, use this on your chest and back for problematic, you know, like spots and stuff. Sometimes they get, people get them on their chest and back. Leave it for 10 to 15 minutes and then you wash it off but you can also use this as a spot treatment. That's what I like about this product. You can use it two ways, um, and a lot of the products are like that. So this one, um, if the spot's not shifting, and it's not, this isn't getting rid of it, because I've had a couple that have just like stayed around, I'll use this. Um, this is more of like a mask texture. It's actually blue inside, and it dries a little bit like a clay mask. If I'm having issues with getting rid of them, then I will use this one. But as I said, you can use this as a mask as well. Um, it says to use it twice a week as a mask. So if you've got a lot of problems on your skin, then I'd suggest 
using this twice a week until it calms down and then just spot treatment them because obviously it dries out your skin um, but yeah also another amazing product I haven't had to reach for this very often I did in the first part of me using this skincare but touch wood I haven't needed to use this recently which is amazing I've only been spot correcting with this one um, another product that I use from this collection is this one here which is the complexion renewal pads um, these kind of remind me of these other ones that I had um, and I've seen a lot of influencers use them and they're kind of like a skin peel vibe like it feels quite stingy on the skin when you apply it but I like things like that because then I know that it's working um, gently wipe all over the face um, it says on here, moistened, moistened pads help minimise surface oil, exfoliate pleural cogging dead skin cells and dirt. Um, I was recommended to use these when I had bad skin twice a day, um, but because my skin kept getting so dry, I was only using them once a day. But I think I only did that for like the first week or two, and then I cut it down. Now I only use one of these once a week, um, just as an extra deep cleanse. Uh, yeah, and because they dry and kind of your face goes a little bit red and where I'm doing videos quite a lot I don't really want the redness but if I feel like my skin's going a bit mm, then I will reach for these um, but yeah also definitely something that I will continue to use and then this product here is an exfoliating polish again when I first had the bad skin and I first started using this I was using this product also gently massage a small amount into a damp face and necks I actually kept this in the bathroom so that I could use it when I was bathing um, and it says on there magnes magnesium crystals exfoliate dead skin cells to create clear smooth and even toned um, complexion uh, if you do like a face scrub then you will love this because i use this one daily this one's more of like a treat like i'll use this as a treat now i was using it as the skincare um system in the beginning but now i've started just using that as and when um I think I've explained all of them. This one is new. This is by a different brand. It's called Glow Skin Beauty Solution Firm Neck Firming Serum. Promotes a visibly lifted firmer neck and desgelier. Is that how you say it? Anyway, I, this is another new product. Um, just a small pump like that. And I apply this on my neck. Because I have been using those products, I felt like I'd neglected my eyes and my neck a little bit because I normally always have such a rich moisturiser as I said earlier and normally a rich eye cream and I didn't want to use anything on my face that was going to upset um, the work that I was doing with the Zoe Health so I literally banished any other skincare um, and I spoke to Skin Geek and she suggested this as a neck cream so my neck's obviously something that I want to take care of because once your neck go there is no surgery to fix that and I think that is such a telltale sign of ageing um, so yeah at 38 I really want to be careful with my neck and under here so I normally take the serum right up under my jaw give it a little massage um, so yeah that is basically what i've been doing with my skin for the past couple of months and i'm going to continue to do um i'd highly recommend getting in touch with skin geek i haven't been paid to speak about this i've met her personally and her thing is skin like she seriously knows what she's talking about you can obviously you can't travel to her right now but you could send her some close-up photos um, of your skin and get some recommendations from her um, she doesn't just work with this brand obviously as I said she works with this brand as well and I'm sure she has other bits and pieces this is her own brand um, but yeah I put my trust in her I put my skin trust into her and um, it has paid off thankfully so I'm really grateful to her so a massive thank you and shout out to Skin Geek for helping me and yeah so I'm going to zoom you in show you close up what my skin looks like and yeah that will be it from me